Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for a Capricorn. How are you guys this week, Capricorn? Hope all's well in your world. See what the energies are around you this week. I'm just going to put these out of the way. I'm going to grab three overall energy cards for you to see what the energies are around you, Capricorn. This could be any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates. Here we got something there. So there's flexible. And just breathe. <laughs> so it's about centering yourself, balancing yourself out here. Now, something you're usually pretty good at, Capricorn. Let's grab another one here. And cleaning up, yeah. So there's definitely a little bit of cleaning up. Now, this could be simply where you're um, becoming a little bit more flexible or using your time wisely, grounding yourself. So there's something here that probably needs to be cleaned up and dealt with. But it's about releasing, okay? Releasing things, letting go of things that no longer serve, maybe being a little more flexible. Uh, but with this card, I always see it. Somebody who has a tendency to bend over backwards, <laughs> a little bit too much so make sure those around you are uh, you know compromising as well yeah so we have the four of pentacles some of you are saving your money so this is my put that back card if you don't need it uh, it's also an energy of someone being a little stuck refusing to cooperate or compromise this could be anybody in your life here so there's something that likely needs to be cleared up or cleaned up or maybe you have someone around you is refusing to do their fair share it's telling you to just breathe. Just breathe. Yeah. Looks like someone's being a little stubborn here. Yeah. So it's an energy of kind of feeling like there's no hope. Uh, someone's definitely in that cup half empty kind of energy here. It's a stuck energy, definitely. Yeah, so there it is. Four of Swords energy. Something needs to be cleared up here. So I feel some of you just need a little bit of a break here. You need to find your inner balance. This could be to do with anything in your life or even people around you, you know, where you just need a break. You need somebody else around you maybe to cooperate and compromise. Someone might be being stubborn, okay, or even being a little selfish. So, yeah, just breathe, Capricorn. And we have judgment and we have five of pentacles. Yeah, so I feel there's an energy of a uh, sense of loss here, possibly. I also, with these two cards together, it just gives me that energy. But it's an energy of someone who feels they don't have enough money or someone's feeling left out on the cold. So it has to do with a decision, some kind of a decision. Some of you, I feel you just, you need a break here. And I can see the judgment is definitely about releasing and letting go. But uh, it's also a healing energy. So that's somebody here healing. Maybe somebody hasn't been well. Yeah, a little energy there. So I do see the tower. So yeah, definitely that tower is coming down here. Uh, it could be just an epiphany too, where somebody's just having a little bit of anxiety. Uh, maybe getting angry here. Uh, I feel here, I, I'm going to tell you with this tower, someone here is definitely feeling either left out in the cold, kind of lonely, or just feeling as though, you know, they don't have enough money. So there could be something here. Some of you might be just working hard here, you know, trying to hold on to your money. Yeah, but I do see a new opportunity. Nice. I'm glad that showed up. So I do see a fresh new start. So some of you, I feel... You may have had to get angry at something or something has ended. So what I feel is going to come to an end, because I see a healing, uh, is this energy of sense of, um, of loss, loneliness, and possibly uh, the lack of money. Because there's some kind of an opportunity coming in. Very nice. So yeah, it's an energy of asking for help too. Sometimes, you know, ask for help. Uh, some of you may be being bending over backwards. Uh, for somebody here and now you need a little bit of help and they may be being stubborn but I feel there's another opportunity here it's a fresh new start yeah look at that yeah and I also see with this cleanup when I see this sometimes <laughs> and it is on the corners 
Um, I feel as though some of you may be just clearing up your house, getting rid of things you no longer need, giving everything a, a, a clean up, freshening things up, a new coat of paint. I often see that energy. So I like this because look at this new. So things are bright and shiny, clear, but I do see this break, but I do see an energy of clearing things out, uh, maybe even just clearing your head and now needing a break. Uh, but definitely the end of this uh, feeling left out in the cold, lonely, or lack of money is coming to an end because you have an opportunity. Something new here. Now, this could be in your love life. This could definitely be uh, to do with work or just things, you know, in general in your life right now. There it is. It's about calming down, being patient here. Someone may have lost their patience or they feel like they're going to because they're bending over backwards, possibly pleasing someone you know, doing too much and someone's not cooperating here because they're uh, definitely being stuck and stubborn. <laughs> uh, that'll definitely resonate with some of you. It's, you know, it's a pretty typical energy for a lot of people in their day-to-day -day lives, but it's about tempering yourself, being patient here. So some of you definitely are kind of pulling back a little here, you see, taking a little break, clearing your head, uh, just kind of calming down a little bit and being more patient. So Whatever it is that you're wanting is saying, just be a little bit more patient, take a little pause, clear your energy and ground yourself. You're generally really good at that. So I love this energy, a little Sag, a little Leo energy here. So yeah, I, I feel as though it's just pulling back and looking at something here, you know, uh, something here may feel a little off or something doesn't feel quite right. So definitely doesn't hurt to sleep on it if you have any kind of a decision to do with that. Could have to do whether, you know, a compatibility issue between two people. But it looks like you got something new. So I do see an energy of looking at this connection. There's some kind of connection. Now, this could be a friend, a family member, you know, that soul connection. But I see new. So some of you have something new here. But I think you're going to just kind of uh, pull back a little and look at it to make sure if it's right for you. If somebody is right, you know, if there's chemistry. As far as relationships go, yeah, see, there it is. Patience again. Two people being more being patient with each other, hoping something pays off. I actually feel as whatever you've been, you know, waiting patiently for is possibly going to happen. This new opportunity. It could be, like I say, just a fresh new start, clearing things up, uh, preparing yourself for something here, because I see the tower. You know, it's an ending. Something is coming to an end. Someone may be losing their patience, though. Uh, deciding to end the situation with someone. Uh, but there's a need for two people to see eye to eye here, you see. Two people being patient with each other. I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now, this could be yourself or another person. It's about investing. It's an energy of somebody who may be waiting for the right time. Uh, has to do maybe with finances here. So it's an energy of someone I feel, a lot of times I see this as a person who always feels, you know, the cup half empty. They always feel like they don't have enough money. Uh, so they work, work, work. They're saving all their money. This could be a person who's kind of, you know, in that protecting themselves energy. This is, um, yeah, there's definitely a couple of scenarios here. This King of Pentacles is someone who likes to be prepared for the future. Uh, grounded, practical, sensible. So I feel it's an energy where you're patiently uh, waiting for someone. But I think this person's definitely, you know, possibly pondering the idea of investing in a situation here. Wow, yeah, something to do with, could be a relationship energy, but there's definitely financial energy here as well. It's about a, somebody's foundation, the financial foundation, see? Someone's having an epiphany or something has happened here. Uh, some kind of an ending. Some of you might be ending something with one person because you feel something is off. They're not invested. You know, they're stubborn, stuck. They're not cooperating and compromising. So definitely, you know, it's the energy of just breathe. Yeah, see, we have somebody here becoming single. So it's possible we have a person here who just wants to stay single. They're protecting their money, their financial foundation, their house and home. So it looks like there's a decision to do with investing in possible relationship. Now, this could be to do with, you know, a business partnership or something as well. But it really looks like we have a person who's enjoying the fruits of their labor. See, there's that tower. Someone's having a realization. They have everything they need. Well, you could have a person who's seeing you this way, because I am seeing a Virgo energy here, possibly. Yeah, someone's looking at all the possibilities here. 
to see if somebody has other options. Some of you may have other options too. Like you may have just ended a situation. You may have a new opportunity. So I do see some, some really positive energy here. Wow, look at that seven of cups right there. Someone who had, you know, someone's been procrastinating, kind of hoping some kind of investment's going to pay off. Uh, they're looking at all the possibilities. Somebody's thinking of investing. I don't know if this is something to do with your financial foundation. This could be, like I say, a friend, somebody here who, you know, is, uh, I, you know, and I see an energy of patience. So I feel it's an energy of two people being patient with each other. There's definitely a need for it. If you feel something is off with someone, they're not giving or they're being selfish or stubborn, uh, whatever the energy, uh, I feel like you're going to be kind of thinking about this. You may decide to end a situation. So There's a decision here to invest or not to invest here. Uh, someone may be keeping their options open. But it's a person who's looking at all the possibilities. This is someone who's been procrastinating uh, and about to make some kind of a decision. It could be somebody who's been waiting for the opportunity to connect with you, waiting for you to end a situation. You know, we have some Pisces energy. It's a hangman. Someone who's, I feel this is someone who's taken a little pause, see a little inner reflection. Uh, it's energy, another energy of balance here. Looking at things from a different perspective. You may have someone who's kind of checking you out. They could be in your neighborhood, somewhere around you, uh, looking to see if you're single or if you're in invested in anybody else. Because so I feel like you got this opportunity here. Tell me about this flexible. Yeah, I'll see. Somebody's being stubborn, confirmation, refusing to budge. Now, this could be someone who's holding on to baggage from a past relationship. No, but it could be somebody who's refusing to um, commit uh, to a situation. Uh, but justice is an energy of someone who, because I feel like we got a person who's taking a little pause here. Well, they're looking at something different. Someone may be looking at the possibilities of, you know, being with you, partnering up in some way. Well, the justice is there. Marriage commitment, doing things just right. You may have someone here where... It could even be yourself refusing to budge or give in to somebody, somebody who's not right for you, where you feel something is off. But it could be another person, too. They could be the person coming in. Ooh, maybe a, a Virgo Leo cusp energy. A little bit of Libra energy there. Hmm. There you are. Just breathe. <laughs> Oh, of course that comes out for you. You know, you're very good at just calming down and balancing yourself. You're definitely focused on finance, as I can see. We have a power couple here. So it looks to me as somebody here is, you know, kind of checking you out or just, you know, looking at things from a different perspective here as to do with options and all the possibilities of partnering up with you. This could be a work thing, you know, a home-based business, anything like that. I think you got someone here who wants to know if you're single. Yeah, you got a king of cups here. You got someone who's feeling it here. Some of you might have a choice between a couple of people here. There could be a work situation, but there could also be a, a relationship situation. This is a person who's generally emotionally mature and available, you see. This could be what you're kind of focused on. You may be, like I say, sort of taking a little pause and you're looking at things from a different perspective. You may have other options around you. So, <laughs> you know, let's see what this clean it up is all about. Yeah, so there could be something to do with children here. Um, this is interesting. Yeah, maybe some of you got children who aren't cooperating or compromising here for cleaning up their rooms. Uh, it could also be an energy of somebody who's looking for somebody to maybe help take care of the home, clean things up, clear things up for them. Maybe this is about a business partnership. But there's definitely uh, this King of Cups is here. And we got someone here who it could be someone who uh, wants children. They may be kind of checking you out. It's also a sense of longing. Uh, someone could be missing you. Maybe this person's clearing things up, clearing things out of their life. Maybe there are other options. So this is a, quite an interesting reading for you, Capricorn. A little change from the past few that I remember anyway. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone here who's just not sure. So it could be an energy of missing an opportunity. Make sure you don't miss an opportunity. 
Okay, but it could be someone here who's now looking at the possibilities and feels they've missed an opportunity with you. But I feel here it's a person who's more than likely failed to recognize, but it's sometimes a person who's kind of stubborn, you know. We shall see. It looks like you have an energy where you may reject someone, thanks, but no thanks. You may not feel comfortable with them. Uh, maybe it's just an energy where you feel like you need to protect yourself. But I feel as though it's definitely this person. It really does. But, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, you got a person coming in. You got love coming in. Now, like I say, it doesn't have to be love. This could be two people who uh, really get each other coming together to form some kind of home-based business or build a foundation. It's an energy of, you know, sense of uh, loss of money. But whatever this is, if you have a person, if you need something, don't be afraid to ask for help because I feel like there's help on the way here. Okay, that's what I feel like it's telling me. There's help on the way. Yeah, maybe you just need a little help with the children. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I find this fascinating, especially the cleanup. Clearing things up, clearing up things from the past. It's possible you got a person who's clearing out all their options, you know, releasing that energy and grounding themselves, coming in more grounded. But it very well could be you. So I like this energy, though, because you've got this, someone here is exploring their feelings. They're coming in. It's a courting card, somebody who may want to date you. So this is lovely. Yeah, look at this emotional fulfillment. You've got some reasons to be happy here. I think you got a person who sees a future with you. Okay, the King of Cups is someone who puts himself out there. This is someone who's going to put themselves out there. You see, they see a future with you. There's a lot of emotional fulfillment. Happy home, happy life. This could be someone who likes children if you're a single parent. Someone who's maybe never had children, the sense of longing. So that's fascinating. But it could, like I say, it could, there could also be some kind of a gift here. Somebody may do something nice for you to show you that they like you. This could be how it starts, where they offer you something. Now, this is an energy where I feel this opportunity could lead to something more. Okay? If you work with somebody, it could lead to something more here. So it's telling you not to miss this opportunity, to at least look at the situation, look at the details. Just ground yourself and look at this. But I think you have a person who sees you as this queen of pentacles. Grounded, practical, sensible. Uh, someone who's definitely, you know, marriage material or at least somebody uh, who's good to work with. Because, you know, the it definitely looks like a relationship. But for a lot of you, it could be just some kind of a business because of a lack of finances here. Uh, some of you, and it could be this person coming in, you know, uh, to offer you something. If you're a single parent, to give you a helping hand. So don't fail to recognize this. Don't let pride get in the way. <laughs> yeah. Could be the other way around as well. But look at that beautiful energy of this person putting themselves out there. Because they see a future here, you see. I like this energy. I feel like this King of Pentacles. Um, it could be two people, but it actually almost feels like just this one person's energy. Yeah. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Yeah, see, somebody a little Pisces, someone trusting their intuition. This is somebody who already knows everything they need to know. And in fact, if it's yourself, you may know who this is. Okay, you may know this person. They could live in your neighborhood, you know, your building. Wow. Could be somebody secretly admiring you secretly checking you out to see if you're seeing anybody or have other options yeah slow and steady this is someone who's planning to come in uh, they want something to be successful now it could be this person sees you as someone they can have success with whether it's financial or a relationship now it may start out uh, it could actually start out as uh, two people getting together connecting going on a date and it could actually lead to something more that way too Wow. Yeah, look at that. There's that. Oh, see, look at, like I say, I, I think this is quite fascinating. And I feel this is very, very positive for you. So definitely look at the situation. Okay, don't miss this opportunity. But I actually feel it's a person who doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. Okay, because they see it. They're planning for it. They're looking at the situation. Now, they are a little apprehensive, I feel, at first. Okay. But they're looking at the details of the situation. This is somebody here who, you know, they obviously know something. 
but they're looking at it from a different perspective. So do take a look at this person too, okay? Try to see both sides of the situation. I feel there's going to be um, two people who are going to connect seeing eye to eye here. This could be a friendship that goes to another level. It could be a working friendship. Um, uh, very well could be. I like this. I feel like you've got something here. that This is the energy of building. See, the tower coming down. Someone's having an epiphany. I feel someone's going to end something with one person or end a situation uh, to come towards yourself. Okay, or it's you. It really could go either way with the King and Queen of Pentacles uh, and that Knight of Pentacles right there. Yeah, so it's something you've possibly been waiting for. Uh, you're waiting here for something, I feel, just kind of looking at the situation. You are focused on money. I can see it. Uh, you know, Capricorn, that's really your thing. You're very good at balancing things out in your life. Uh, you're very capable of keeping your home life, keeping things in order, uh, as well as focusing on your finances. So I feel somebody is seeing that kind of energy. Uh, they're seeing that. Oh, yeah. And I can see the opportunity to build something you've been waiting for here, possibly. But it could be this person, too. Like, if it is somebody you've known before, possibly they may feel it's too late. But I don't think so. Don't miss this opportunity. <laughs> you never really know where this is going to go. You know, it's an energy of that ship coming in. If you have a situation where you feel something is off with someone, it's too little, too late. Well, you've got something else here. It's, it's solid. It's reliable. Okay, so I feel this is really good for you. Lovely energy, Capricorn. So it's just an energy of waiting for something to pay off, some kind of a decision, see? Now, it could be a reconciliation from someone a long time ago. doesn't have to be. I more often, um, and I, but I do see three cards that do talk of, of reconciliation. But for me, more often than not, it's an energy of healing and releasing things that uh, you no longer need. Because I do see the clearing up, clearing things up. Now, it could be somebody coming in to clear up. It could be a, uh, giving you something. If you they owe you money, they may give you some money. Okay? And it could be that simple. But I feel one thing's going to lead to another here. I do. I feel like you've got someone who's looking at the situation. Yeah, someone may have a little regret. Someone has a little regret. Maybe they feel they missed an opportunity, you know. But I feel it's with yourself even because this card's here twice in this reading. Uh, if you don't really look at this, you could regret it. So it's energy is just kind of waiting to see what happens, I feel. To see where this goes kind of energy, okay? Yeah. Could be somebody, like I say, investing in something financial. They may, if you're having issues with your home, um, if you need money, you need a helping hand, I feel like it's on the way, okay? I feel like, like I, and maybe it's something you did for someone else at one time, and now they're coming forward here. So I like this energy. I think this is something that's going to happen. Someone's having an epiphany um, about this energy. You see, it's the tower coming down. Someone, the tower is coming down. Someone's having some kind of regrets. Um, they're maybe not putting themselves out there. Maybe not connecting emotionally. Lovely. Take care, Capricorn. Let me know how it goes. I always wish you the best, and we'll see you soon.